I'm standing in front of temporary housing in Fukushima. I came here today to take some radiation measurements and um, came up with a number of 0.23 microsieverts per hour. But what does that really mean? Well, the fact of the matter is, we live with radiation every day. It's part of our life. When we eat food, we get it. If I eat one banana every day over the course of one year, I'm gonna come up with three 6.5 microsieverts of radiation that I've received from that. Um, over the course of a year, the average person receives about 400 microsieverts of radiation. If I take a airplane ride, say a four hour ride, New York, Los Angeles, um, I'm going to receive about 400 microsieverts of radiation. So when a number like 0 0.23, 0 0.21, whatever, whenever that pops up, what do we do with it? What does it mean? Well, just do some easy math. You take that number, since it's given in hours, multiply it by 24 hours per day. And then you multiply that by 365, and then you'll get your total. The total that I have here, if I do the math, actually comes out to being right around 2,000, which is very, very comparable to what I receive at home in America, in Denver, Colorado. But we don't want to get lost in the numbers because if I have something like, say, a CT scan, I'll receive about 10,000 microsieverts from just that operation. So really, radiation is something that we live with, we accept, it's a part of life. Now, there are some places where the radiation levels are high and people do have a legitimate concern and they do need to be careful. But I want to stress that there are many, many places here in Fukushima that are not only low in radiation, but they're very beautiful also.